<clears throat> Hello everyone, Mr. B here. Um, today we're going to be talking about uh, lab procedures. Um, in project three we are going to be doing a lab. It's not a real lab in the sense that we're going to a lab, but it's more of a lab um, as in you're going to be doing your own sort of practical in my classroom by yourself. Um, and I'll be there in the room with you, but um, you're going to be the one doing it, and so we need to talk about how to keep it safe and how to how scientists conduct labs, which is what this is all about. So this presentation that I'm going to go through um, is going to help you know a little bit more about what you should be doing in the lab, and then there's going to be a little quiz uh, that you have to pass with 100% to do the lab, and that's going to be an Otis, and I think it's called Lab Safety Quiz or something like that, like Project 3 Lab Safety Quiz. Anyways, um, this presentation is going to be what you need to study in order to pass that quiz. So let's get into it. Um, so lab procedures. Procedures me means um, rules that you have to follow when you are in the lab or when you're doing an experiment. And these are all things that all scientists have to do, um, whether they're in a lab in middle school, whether they're in a lab in high school, whether they're studying organic chemistry in, at a university or building rocket fuel to go to Mars. All scientists have to follow these same procedures in order to stay safe because labs can be dangerous, okay? So the first one is to con conduct yourself in a responsible manner. Notice that word responsible is highlighted um, at all times. So no horseplay, keep your hands to yourself. Um, it's true, you really have to be responsible because th the lab that we're going to be doing doesn't have that much dangerous stuff, but some labs can be really dangerous. Um, Ask me sometime and I'll tell you about the time I burned my elbow with acid in a chemistry lab in college, okay? So you have to be responsible, keep your hands to yourself, no horseplay. Okay, the next thing is you have to follow all written and verbal instructions carefully. Written means stuff that's written down, um, so I might give you a little procedure list that you have to follow to, to make your um, crystals. Verbal means instructions that I tell you, so verbal means words that I say to you, okay? so. If you ever read something from me written down, you have to follow what I say, and if you ever have me tell you something, you have to follow what I say when you're doing the lab, okay? Um, procedures means the, the uh, or excuse me, forget what I was saying about procedures. Number three, keep your work area and science room neat and clean uh, and clean up at the end of the lab, okay? Scientists have to be really clean. What's one reason you can think of why? Well, if there's stuff that's dirty all over the lab, they could mess up their experiment, they could spill something um, that's dangerous. So keeping the lab really neat is super important and clean, and it just makes you, um, makes you a better scientist. <clears throat> okay, number four, do not remove supplies from the science classroom without the teacher's permission. Um, I don't think, unless something changes, I don't think you're, you're gonna be allowed to take home any supplies. Um, Mr. B has to buy these supplies himself, and um, yeah, so just don't don't take them from the classroom. We and uh, other students need the supplies too. There's a lot of kids that have to do the experiment, so um, don't take any extra supplies. Okay. Number five: Do not touch any of the equipment until instructed. So this is true. I know there's a lot of kids who are going to be excited um, to play with the stuff to make the crystals. Um, that's not allowed. You got to wait until we're actually doing the experiment because you could be spilling things. You could be doing stuff that you're not supposed to. So sometimes in labs, you can see this little uh, device here that has a fire, that's called a Bunsen burner. And scientists use Bunsen burners to, to heat up chemicals and do lots of stuff. Bunsen burners are really dangerous because it's a fire. We're not gonna be using a Bunsen burner in this lab. It's too dangerous for middle school right now. Um, but in, in any case, I don't want you to touch any of the equipment um, until it's time to go, okay? Okay, six, never drink, taste, or smell anything during a lab. This is really important when you go up and you, you do labs in chemistry and in college because a lot of times the stuff that you're doing the labs with is, um, is really dangerous. And if you taste it or even smell it, um, it can get into your body and it can do you a lot of harm. It can even cause brain damage and stuff. So you really have to be careful about not tasting or smell, smelling anything during a lab. Okay, wash your hands with soap and water before leaving class. So right after you finish the lab, I want you to tell me that you're done. Then come up 
and then, I'll, then I'll have you go outside and um, not outside, but into the hallway, and I'll have you wash your hands in the the hallway in the sink or the sink in the hallway, and uh, that's just to keep everything clean. But in other labs, it might be more important because you might have chemicals and stuff on your hands that could hurt someone. Okay, number six, or number eight, excuse me, wear safety goggles when instructed. We're not going to have safety goggles for this course, but in a lot of future labs, you'll have to wear safety goggles. Okay, number nine, dress properly. So tie back long hair, remove dangling jewelry, and wear closed-toed shoes. Um, you're not going to have to wear closed-toed shoes in my lab, but you will have to tie back your long hair and remove dangling jewelry, just because I don't want it to be falling into the into the stuff that we're working with. Um, so keep that in mind when we're going into the lab. Okay. Um, number 10, report any accidents and injury to the teacher immediately. So if you spill something, that's okay. If you um, put something on the floor or accidentally hurt someone else's project, it happens sometimes. Just let me know immediately. Don't wait to tell me because it's easier to clean up, clean up if you tell me right away. Okay. Um, okay, number 11, learn where the safety equipment is and how to use it and where the emergency exits are. Um, this is more for if you're working with really dangerous chemicals. Some chemistry labs, they have this thing to wash out your eyes. If you get chemicals in your eyes and you literally, it's like a shower for your eyes and you stand there and you have to hold your eyelids open and it sprays water into your eyes for like 20 minutes and it's horrible. So you gotta, now is a good time to learn how to be safe when it comes to labs, when we're doing stuff that's a little bit less scary, okay? Okay, it says the consequence, the privilege for the next lab is lost if you don't follow the procedures. Um, I don't think, I, I don't know if I'm gonna follow this exact same consequence, but we will have consequences if you can't follow the procedures for the lab. So um, I'm thinking about things like if you're trying to get up to a level three, or if you want to be able to sit with your friends, all that kind of stuff. Um, is going to be important. So it's important to, to follow the procedures for the lab. Okay, so that should be all of the information that you need for the quiz. Um, feel free to ask me any questions, and there you go.